Hi guys and welcome to the Marksman Hunter Guide for um, AoE and single target rotations. So I'll be going through the single target legendaries and stat weights first and then the AoE. So to start with for um, Marksman talents, you always want to be taking Lone Wolf no matter what, even for um, single target and AoE. It's just better, way more better than steady focus and careful aim. You're not really ever going to need more focus than you already do, so steady focus is not usable and careful aim is just trash because once the boss is below 80% you can't get the full use out of it. If you're playing MM, a lot of people tell me that ring and boots abyss, obviously they are, but as long as you have the boots, you can use it with any combo you want. Primarily, don't let it be in your tier slot, so don't let it be the cape or the hands, because what you want to be aiming for as MM is having the hands are uh, having the TOS 2 set and the Antorus 4 set. As you can see I'm rocking 930 shoulders for Antorus because the 4 set is so overpowered. Mark shot has a 50% chance to fire up to 3 additional sh additional targets hit by Mark shot. It's obviously just overpowered. Do you do so much damage if you take this off. And as you can see 2 from TOS casting 2 aim shots in a row increases your critical strike damage by 10%. Which is obviously amazing. We're going to keep this up all the time because obviously our main spell is aim shot. Um, so yeah. So with the ring you're going to get lock and load. So you, then you take true aim. Black arrow is not needed at all. Like taunting the, the, a boss is just not good at all. So you take lock and load and true aim. True aim is obviously good. You want to keep make sure that on a boss you're keeping that up on them all the time. Next, I always take post haste. It's the best out of all of them. Um, all of them, sorry. Just yeah, like quick disengage and run, because you're not going to be disengaging a lot of the time because you've got to stand still for your aim shots and your wind runners and stuff like that. So flash stride is not really that good. Next one, patient sniper is what you want to take. It's just as a really really good single target damage. Next one's down to you, but I like taking binding shots because it's a big big stun. Next, you always want to take Murder of Crows. You want to take Murder of Crows in any single target fight due to the fact that Volley costs free focus every auto attack. And sometimes you don't notice that you're losing focus and it's just really, really bad if you don't have enough focus for that last aim shot in your vulnerable window. So you want to take Murder of Crows and if it's only one or two target um, targets, you want to put Murder of Crows on one target right before they die so you get a refresh. On a boss like Kingroth, you want to make sure you get the full use out of Murder of Crows. So when it adds on like around about 30% on Kingroth Mythic, I usually use Murder of Crows. And then it dies, and then I can use it on the next ad. That ad dies again, and then I can put it on Kingroth, and it will be up for the next set of ads. So next, what you want to take for single target is Trick Shot. Due to the fact that, um, if you see, if there are no other vulnerable targets, the damage of your next aim shot is increased by 15%. Obviously, with a single target boss, you're just going to be hitting 15% increased damage aim shots which is just really really good so one thing i recommend for all people who are wanting to um play bm is get the weak aura which shows you your vulnerable window so example when i do, when i start off with win runners now win burst sorry the target will be um the target will be vulnerable so just show now as you can see there's my vulnerable window at the bottom so five seconds so what you want to be aiming for is to just get off two aim shots in your vulnerable window as you can see there, I'm getting two aim shots off, and I can just do that. When you don't have true shot, this is just your main aim. Fit in two aim shots into your um, vulnerable window. Obviously, if you can't get off that um, aim shot, it's not too bad because you've got your boots and you've got your um, you've got your boots. Your true shot's going to come off cooldown quicker. When you get a lock and load proc, you need to make sure you're using that instantly because sometimes what I always feel when I get an aim shot proc. I'm going to get one straight after. So you want to make sure you're using up your lock and load as soon as you get it. And making sure you're fitting in the aim shots very regularly. When you haven't got vulnerability up, you need to be using arcane shot so you can try and get it. Um, but you want to make sure that you're never using an aim shot outside of a vulnerable window. If you're doing it outside of a vulnerable window, it is literally just a waste of um, focus. So for example, now you see I was just spamming arcane shot. So I have a bigger chance of getting a prop for um, the mark shot. So in between now, when I haven't gotten a focus for another aim shot and it's about to fade, I just want to be spamming arcane shot. So now I'm going to get off two vulnerables. I'm just going to put it into a next vulnerable now so I can use off these luck and load procs. So do that quickly. 
As you can see now, I've got another proc, so I'm just going to quickly use that. But what you want to make sure is you're using Windburst on cooldown. So for now, I'm going to use two aim shots. And because I know that Windburst has put me into another Brummel window, I'm going to use that. And as you can see, True Shot's nearly off cooldown again, which is really, really good for us. Because obviously when we get True Shot, our damage is just going to be really, really insane. But for single target, it doesn't change that much. It's just literally, this is the rotation. And you just got to remember, time your True Shot on, you know, when there's going to be big DPS to be done. So for example, on Garofi, when you know two, um, when the cannons come up, both of them, I usually pop True Shot then. So I can Multi Shot, then Mark Shot, and then just Aim Shot them down. So now I'm going to quickly show the um, AoE rotation. So I'm um, switch out my um, ring and put on the belt. The belt is just really, really, really good for AoE. A lot of people um, take the ring, but the belt is just so, so good. A lot of times with the ring, because when I use true shot, I literally just spam multi shot, then mark shot, and then multi shot again. But if you take that build, you have to be using, you have to be ready. So that once you've used this mark shot, you've got to get ready to use it again. Because the ring gives you a 50% chance of getting another mark shot. So I always take the belt. I'll show you why the belt is so, so good with trick shot. For AoE, you obviously want to be taking volley due to the fact that, you know, you're going to be doing way, way more damage output with volley than you are with, um... You are with uh, Murder of Crows. Um, on a fight like, um... Where there's a lot, like literally you'll have at least four targets up for a long, long time. You want to be taking lock and load. You want to be taking lock and load due to the fact that true aim only works. So if I say I'm hitting this target, it will go up to ten stacks. But as soon as I hit another tar target, them stacks on that one target is are completely gone. So if there's a lot of targets, you want to be losing lock and load. So that there's a chance you get a lock and load and aimed in with trick shot. All the targets going to be hit by your trick shot, by your aim shots. So say if you have um, all your all your ads are marked, then you can use an instant two aim shots. It's going to deal really, really big damage. Um, a lot of people uh, post haste, whatever. It's really down to you. Same with lone wolf. You have to take lone wolf. Nothing else. But the f level forty five talents are down to you. So for next, a lot of people still take patient sniper, but I've seen a few people now taking sentinel. Due to the fact that they can put that down and they're just guaranteed mark shots on the target so they can keep them vulnerable. But I just like Patient Sniper. So I'm just going to showcase what it will be like in an AoE fight. So it will be about, I think we'll hit two here of our multi shot. So I'm going to start off by doing my Wind Burst. See now I've got a proc, so I'm going to use uh, multi shot and mark them both vulnerable. And then just be s spamming aim shots. If you want to get full use out of your belt, you just want to be spamming multi shots and then using an aim shot. And just making sure they're all trick shot up. So see now I have a trick tr lock and load. So I'm just going to dot them both up. Make sure they're vulnerable. And just be using my um, aim shots. And one thing about AoE is you really want to maximize the uh, how you're using true shots. The way I use true shot is literally just by doing multi shot, mark shot, multi shot, mark shot. And only using aim shots when I get a lock and load proc. So as you can see just use lock and load now. Because obviously I have trick shot. But other than that you literally just want to be using... Multi shot, mark shot, multi shot, mark shot. And if you can maximize this and learn how to, um, you know, make the full use out of your true shot, you'll just see the numbers rocket up. I've been playing for MM for like the whole of Antorus now, so good, good four months in raiding, mythic, and MM is just so, so good once you've learned how to use your belt and stuff correctly. But single target's pretty simple, but. You just got to make sure you've got the uh, a weak aura or something like that to show you your vulnerable windows and maximizing the amount of aim shots you can get out. So you want to aim for at least two, um, two aim shots in a vulnerable window. Three if you can, but don't overdo it. And make sure you use lock and load as quick as possible. So that you're, um, you're not like, say if you get an aim shot while you've still got two aim shots up. It's just really, really bad for you. But yeah. And that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want more videos. And see you in the next one.